Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and on today's menu, we'll be cooking some steak and potatoes and yellow rice. You can do the steak and potatoes over the yellow rice if you like, however you want to do it. But let me show you guys first. Um, I will make sure I'll try to remember to leave the meal prep video for this uh, particular meal. Make sure I leave it linked in the description box. I will try to remember that, guys. But um, yes, I do have a meal prep video for this particular uh, meal. All right, now let me show you. I have here some cube. Uh, it's in cubes. It is some boneless steak. Show you guys that all nicely cubed up into nice little chunks. It smells so good. I'm so ready to cook it. All right, that is our steak. And I have two potatoes. I've got two potatoes here, just two large potatoes. And I have my favorite Mahatma yellow rice. Got my pots and pans over here on the stove, ready to let's get to cooking. So, all right, y'all, let go. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got the yellow rice cooking over there. You guys have seen me cook that rice a million times, boiling water, throw your packet of rice in, stir it up, add a little salt, a little oil, and that's it, that rice is done over there. But the rice is gone. I just wanted to really focus on the steak and the potatoes. So I've got about two tablespoons of oil on my pan here. All right. Would it help if I cut my stove on? I'm gonna do like a medium high heat. I don't wanna rush this steak to cook. I just wanna take my time and cook this steak. So, all right, my oil moving around here. I said about two tablespoons of oil um, in your pan about two tablespoons that's about all you need let me make sure you guys can see and this is a little quick steak and potato meal it, it really tastes good the steak and potatoes by you know together but I like it with the yellow rice too you know once you get the steak and potatoes you guys will see and then just kind of lay it over that yellow rice or like I said if that's too many carbs for you you can just do the steak and potatoes totally up to you but I just like the way the steak and potatoes and the yellow rice taste together. I just like that whole flavor combination. All right, so. Doesn't take long for my stove to get hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some steak in here. I've got a lot of steak in this bowl. I'm gonna try to see if I can fit it all in here. Don't wanna crowd it too much. Put a couple more pieces in here. Okay. All right. So I've got another um, half a bowl left. So I'll just do two batches of steak. I don't want to crowd this steak. Yeah. Just in my pan like that with some oil. Oh, that sounds so good. That's a nice a ASMR. Hey, I just got my spatula, guys. Um, you guys see I've got that steak in there. It's going to take a minute to cook. I'm not going to let you guys, you know, sit here and wait for the steak to cook. Uh, but I am going to, you know, show me cooking it for a few seconds. And I only put a little bit of oil and this steak should cook up fast. It smells so good. See how fast that's cooking up. To get my fan on. See that is cooking up so fast. It's not going to take long to cook at all.
We don't want to overcook this steak because we don't want the steak to get all hard. Let me take you guys in really good so you guys can see how quick the steak is cooking. Cooks real fast. Doesn't take long. Want your steak to get all nice and brown and juicy. See how quick and easy that steak cooks up. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish cooking this uh, first batch of steaks. And um, I'm going to go ahead and cook the second batch. And then I'll come back to show you guys what we're doing next. Okay, guys, I am back. I've got our meat all cooked up. <clears throat> and what you're looking at is the juice left from my meat from cooking it. All right, I've got my potatoes all nicely diced up. Just added a little complete seasoning to my potatoes. Didn't want to do too much to them. And I'm just going to cook my potatoes in the um, juice from my steak, cooking my steak. I'm just going to cook these up until they get all nice and soft and brown. Take my time and cook them. I don't want to rush them. Like I said, I just seasoned the potatoes with just a little uh, complete seasoning. Let me show you guys what I use. I use the Badia with complete seasoning. Yep, that's what I used on the potatoes. Don't want to do too much. My steak is already seasoned up. Uh, as you guys will see in my meal prep video. Just want to toss these potatoes around so they can get done. Smells so good. Take you guys into those potatoes. Oh, they smell so good. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get these cooked up. Just showing you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and cook them up till they get brown. And I'll be back to show you guys what I'm going to do next. Okay, guys, I am back. We've got our steak all done. We've got the potatoes all done. Zooming you guys into this next pan that I'm going to be using. All right, so. All right, let's get our steak in the pan. You guys can see that steak is in there all nicely done and cooked up real good. All right, next we're gonna be adding our potatoes all nicely browned and roasted. Add those in, oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta take y'all in, zoom y'all in to how delicious that looks. Oh yeah, that should definitely be my thumbnail. All right now, okay. So let me bring you guys out, bring you out just a little bit. I've got my stove on a low heat, just a low heat. I'm combining the steak and the potatoes. And you could leave it just like this if you want. You could leave it just like that, steak and potatoes. But of course y'all know I'm not doing that. I have here the roasted garlic teriyaki sauce here 
Yep, that's what I'll be using. Just to give it a little flavor. I'm going to start with... I'm just going to do a cup. Because I tasted it. I tasted it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Getting a little ebonic there. Alright, and I'm just going to pour that over the meat and the potatoes. That is one cup I'm using. Just one cup. Don't want to do too much with that teriyaki sauce. Because we know how teriyaki sauce can get. Can get a little salty. We don't want to do too much. And I'm just going to, uh oh, lost a piece of potato there. Alright, I'm just going to toss this around in it. Lightly toss it around. So that my steak gets coated. Like I said, I've got it on the low heat. Everything is already hot because of course I just cooked everything. Just tossing that steak and potatoes around in that sauce, that teriyaki sauce. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to taste a piece. I think I'm going to taste a piece of meat and potato. It's hot, 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 hot. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. I like good potato. It's hot. Mmm. But it's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. That is some deliciousness going on now. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. That is so juicy. So flavorful. Let me zoom y'all in. Oh my goodness. I know y'all see that. Mm, 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 mm. Quick little easy meal. And like I said, you can just eat it like this with the teriyaki sauce on it. With the steak and the potatoes. That is good by itself. You can also do it with the yellow rice. You know, lay down you some yellow rice. Oh goodness, so good. And then drop you some steak and potatoes over the yellow rice. It's so good. Just the combination, the flavor of that yellow rice makes it so good. You got that yellow rice with its own flavor, that teriyaki sauce, and those potatoes. Oh my goodness. Gotta take y'all in. Hold on. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they want. Yeah, you know my camera have a mind of its own. Okay. There it is. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, what you see is what you're getting. Yep. Alright, y'all. That's it. Let me bring the yellow rice over here. So y'all can see that's all nicely done and hot. Ooh, take the hot top off that yellow rice. Let me bring you guys out. Yellow rice over there. And you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to get a plate. I got to plate this up for y'all. Y'all going to get it fresh right here. Wash my plate off. And let's go ahead. Let me get my plate here. Get you guys positioned. Get my spoon. Okay, let's do this. All right, let me get some yellow rice. Get that yellow rice plated up. Make sure you guys can see. Hold on, y'all. Make sure y'all can see this plate real good. Okay. All right, so we got the plate. And then you take some of that steak and potato. And you just lay it across there like that. That's it. Look at that. Steak and potato. Let me put it somewhere where you guys can see real good. I'm telling you. Alright guys. My lighting. Okay. We go. Look at that steak and potatoes over that yellow rice. Oh, look at that potato right there. Cook real good. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. All right, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to go in the description box, guys. Click on that link to my second channel. That is my spiritual journey over there. Just talking about my life, living for Christ, living for God. Uh, Cause I yes, I am a child of the King. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.